Evening folks, and welcome to another Irish Whiskey Review with me, Marty McCauley. I hope you're all safe and well, and uh, give my usual uh, shout out that about Covid and all the crazy times that we're in, but we'll not dwell too much on that tonight. We have whiskey to review, mm, lovely, lovely. I'll actually just pour one. <coughs> always like that noise, it's always nice. A little bit of turn. Now, Tonight, we have Samuel Jellistons. Uh, I quite like this bottle. Very solid, heavy, bespoke bottle with the, the name down here. And a uh, signature up here it says new 1830. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, why that's maybe important. Now, we're doing this on a new bit of cat, by the way. I, I, I have no interest, really. I have no real interest in any of this technology stuff. It really, if, if I'm honest, it just bores me. It bores me a bit to tears. But, uh, I, I've noticed that there's some of the videos, some of the, the, the tech, it's, it can be quite hard to get my head around. And the lighting and stuff, it's just bizarre. But I try my best, I try my best. So I have this new little bit of kit. Uh, we are trying to experiment with it and make things, make life a little bit better. So, fingers crossed. Uh, I, I rely on, on Justin to do this kind of thing. So if you if you haven't watched our show, our whiskey show goes out live, 10pm Greenwich Mean Time, in, uh, on Facebook and YouTube. And then if you, if you can't get it and you really, really want to bore yourself, we rip it off and put it into podcasts so you can watch it on podcast. So, I say we, uh, that's a very figurative thing. It's Justin does all that, as I'm sure you can guess. Now, so, we're going with the whiskey tasting one. So this is Gelston's, Samuel Gelston's, and it's a single pot still whiskey. So what's pot still whiskey? It's Irish product, has to be made in Ireland. Although there's some sneaky places trying to copy it, trying to do it and call it pot still, but you can't. And what it is, it's a mixture of the mash bill. So the, the what you make your, your work from or your beer, the mash bill is a mixture of malted and unmalted barley. Okay? Uh, it came about as an Irish an Irish product, really to prominence after a tax was passed passed in the late eighteenth century. They'd always been making mixed mash bills. I mean, they, they, they were making what was called whiskey or ushkaba, if you go all the way back in, in Gaelic, from really anything that contained sugar, so potatoes. I mean, but we would sort of term as vodka. It was really, they made that potato potching. Potching, it's different classification. It's all been codified now, so it's all different. But back in the day, whiskey wasn't aged in casks, primarily. Uh, it was made, it wasn't made from 100% malted barley. It was made from whatever anybody had a bit extra of. So over here, if it was, they had some oats and maybe throw in some oats and some barley and malted barley and some unmalted barley, probably mashed it all up and made distilled that and turned it into their own stuff and sold it on etc but anyway but pot still whiskey is unique lots of people in the states and stuff i've met lots of whiskey drinkers from the states who've never heard of it but you'll you'll see this an awful lot more an awful lot more coming through because because it's a big push for irish spirits now this is another resurrection another lazarus brand Samuel Gelston was back in 1830 on Corporation Street in Belfast. And it tells you all the information on the back here. Samuel Gelston owned a renowned wine and spirit business in Corporation Street, Belfast in 1830. When Samuel died, his business was bought over by Harry J. Neal, a whiskey lover whose family had the motto Honour, Honesty and Integrity. Today, five generations later, the Neal family are releasing this exceptional single pot still Irish whiskey. 
and then it gives you some blurb. And as I say, like the bottle, very stylish. One thing about it, the Neil family. Lots of people don't know this, but you know the actor Sam Neil from Jurassic Park? Uh, uh, what else was he at? Damien? Uh, he was, oh, excuse me, I mean, he's been in loads of stuff. The Peaky Blinders, the Peaky Blinders, where, ironically, because this is the thing, Sam Neil is actually from Northern Ireland. He was born in County Tyrone, if, I, if memory serves. So check that out, but he's born he's from there. This is the same Neil family, by the way. A wee bit more than that in a minute. Uh, in Peaky Blinders, he is one of the worst Ulster accents I've ever heard in my life, even though he was born here. But he emigrated to the Antipodes when he was uh, very, when he was young, he, he emigrated over there with his family. So that's really essentially where he's from. But this is the same Neil family, and there's a tie-up, because he owns a vineyard over there. And this family, I would imagine, what you'll get is wine cast finished spirits at some point that will be coming out now we'll get on and do a little bit of tasting a little swissish word mm. very fresh it's lemon lemon meringue Baked, baked citrus, so possibly your, your orange sponges. So it's that citrus, that baked citrus note. It's quite fresh, yeah. And a little touch, a little touch of nuts. The, the nose isn't massively powerful. To be honest, it's just fresh. Now, straight away, chocolate powder, you're getting walnuts, um, cereal notes, so, so the cornflakes, again, it's that baked cereal note. Now, on the finish, pot still traditionally has a little bit of spice coming from the unmalted grain, and you're getting that, there's, there's peppercorn there doesn't hit massively but it's there it's that note that lifts it and gives it a little, little kick chocolate chocolate oranges a, a sweetness that this is bourbon cask there's not a lot of vanilla there i'm gonna i'm gonna say that and i know this this sounds this is going to sound bad but bear with me and explain it all the casks that this has been aged in are probably not premium casks and it's probably better for that. Now what I mean by that is there's not huge amounts of kicks of bourbon vanilla coming through here. It doesn't need it. This is spirit driven rather than cask driven. You, you see you have two real choices you have a number of different choices. I should say because there's always there's always there's always little things to throw you off but in essence you have two choices you either have a spirit driven drink or a cask driven drink and your whiskies if it's spirit driven you're relying on the spirit to be able to stand up for itself it doesn't need huge cast down cask influences it needs the cast to kind of work and purify it and make it a cleaner better spirit by removing the bad elements of it but it doesn't need the, the flavors to come off the cask these days you have a huge array of casks you have wine cask finishes and you have stout cask and you have cognac and oh just a whole plethora of stuff anything they can find now you put in a cask and it goes anything any cask they can find you put the whiskey in and it goes to give it the flavor this is different it's getting the bourbon casks letting the bourbon cask do its work but not dominate the spirit. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. This is 40%. This is £22 a bottle. £22. Let that sit for a little second with Irish whiskey prices at the minute. 
you're talking this is cheaper than black bush cheaper than lots and lots of entry level whiskies and yet this is a bespoke bottle brand new launched uh, this is very good That's, let's just cut to the chase this is very very good stuff for the price point this is at I mean this is bargain basement Irish whiskey as such but it doesn't taste that way this is a very acceptable everyday sipper this is not big heavy punchy cask strength cask finished etc etc what this is this is the sort of whiskey people will end up buying to have to drink regularly it's not your 400 pound bottle that you set up and you tell everybody you bought or whatever this is one of the things that irish whiskey at the minute has kind of moved away from you're, 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 everybody buzzes about about your middleton very rares and they buzz about about all these new limited edition and all the collectors run around and I, I do it myself and I'm not in any way criticising anybody but what I'm saying is this is what the whiskey industry needs lots of these sippers ones that you can buy you walk into a supermarket you throw it into your basket you don't give it a second thought other than you're picking up something good you can take home and sit and enjoy watch the TV watch goggle box and laugh at, at, at whoever's on it making ridiculous comments and the big dogs and all that you can sit and do that. This doesn't require any thought. It doesn't require you to sit with teaspoons of water and jug around and oh, what's this doing? Oh, what am I getting? Blah, blah, blah. Right? That's not what this is for. This is for you to sit and drink and enjoy. And at £22 a bottle, I think this is fantastic value for money. Really, really good. Now, you go onto the website, this is where you can get it. A lot of people were kicking off after Brexit there's lots of people getting off saying oh we can't get stuff from Amazon we can't get this blah 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 and beforehand lots of people were saying oh we don't buy from Amazon and obviously they did and I did myself because there's lots of bargains to be had now because of simple economics guys are all selling it through their own website go to their website pick it up and let them get the profits and at £22 they're not getting an awful lot of profit off of this but what I'm going to say is, go and get a bottle of this. After you read it, I read it at the price point that it's at, at the at the, the the its peer where it's sitting at with its contemporaries. This is as good as anything that's there. That's the truth. Different style of whiskey, pot still. Lots of people will not have tried this. Go on, pick it up, uh, and enjoy it. Going to mark this. Um, I'm giving this a good solid eight and a half out of ten i've tasted stuff an awful lot more expensive than this that isn't as good uh, again i've enjoyed this i think this is really one of the things that irish whiskey pot stills whiskey is to succeed and push forward into the world market where it needs there needs to be more of these good on them well done um pleased have a good time enjoy and join me and justin on saturday nights at 10 p.m and if you have Alexa or what, what's the other one? Google, whatever. Uh, all you have to do is say, play the Irish Whiskey Review. And you hear me and um, Justin whittering away about stuff and talking to people of interest rather than just ourselves. So have a good time, guys. And talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.